Anyone ever seen me in a Hollywood martial arts film or a Hong Kong action film? Has anyone ever seen me in one? <laughs> exactly, because I haven't been in one. Why? I'll tell you, because I'm too good at karate. I'm banned, and it's also impossible to film me in Hollywood movies doing martial arts because movies are filmed at 24 frames per second. I move much faster than that. So the reason you're holding this book here is because I was able to get a camera from the future which films at a million frames per second and it can actually film me doing karate and get the photos in focus. However, sometimes I still move too fast that I'm out of focus. So if you see blurry photographs, it's not bad photography, just great karate. Let's go to the next photo. Sometimes even when I'm standing still, I move too fast, the camera can't capture it. Let's go to the next photo. Uh, here I teach you how to create instant male pattern baldness on your attacker. One punch to the nose, and his hairline moves back a few inches there. No other karate book teaches this. Painful and humiliating. Next photo. I also teach you how to punch someone in the chest and dislocate their shoulder blade. Um, this way you can attack someone from the back by attacking them from the front. Basically what you're doing is you're making all his inner organs work against him. You punch him in the chest, and then his rib cage hits against his heart. His heart ricochets off the back of the rib cage, and then it pops out his shoulder blade. And if you don't have your shoulder blade working, you have no defense. Sir, did you learn that at medieval times? No. Probably not. Okay, let's move on. Any questions so far about karate? In the back, any questions about karate? Security guards, any questions about karate? I actually trained all the security guards here. All right, next photo. Okay, levitation, very important. I have a whole chapter on levitation. If you're holding the book right now, pick it up. And if you flip through it, uh, there's a flip book. Uh, it's a 66 page flip book. Just start from the beginning, put your thumb in the middle, and then just uh, let the pages rip and you can see me levitating and uh, beating up a big dude. Does anyone know why levitation is important in karate? Do you guys really know nothing about karate at all? <laughs> Do you have any idea why levitation is important? Why would I why would I levitate against this guy instead of running down the alleyway to kick him? Exactly. This is a silent attack. And also levitation gets me the height advantage. And I teach you how to levitate in the book. Very good.